Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. Into this video, I'm gonna reveal top five entry-level IT certification that will help you to land your first IT job. So uh, maybe you have just finished your studies and now are planning to apply for IT jobs or you are currently working in different field and you want to do a current transition in IT. In both cases, certification plays an important role. So for an example, there is a new job post uh, related to IT and uh, uh, most probably there will be like hundreds or thousands of applicants who will apply for the particular job. And if you are certified, then it will definitely get the benefit because uh, you have proved your knowledge about that particular technology. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to reveal the top five entry-level ID certification that will help you to land your first job. So uh, please watch till the end. And at the very end, I also suggest uh, some uh, tips that uh, really help me to uh, become a uh, better IT professional. So before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself, Allah Marif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, and Google. Beside that, uh, I also hold a CI suspension and CCSB certification, which are the industry standard of uh, uh, cloud security certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT candidate tips. So if you're interested in this uh, topic, this channel is definitely for you. I'm going to upload a tons of videos related to this topic. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents. So without further delay, let's explore this top five entry-level IT certifications. Okay, so let me start with uh, the first certification. Well, uh, whenever we're talking about IT, mainly we're dealing with data. And whenever we're dealing with data, security is one of the major concerns. Because uh, if the security controls are not properly followed, then uh, there will be data breach, there will uh, be hacking and other stuff will be going on, and the reputation of the particular company will be at risk. So for that reason, security is a top priority. And as an IT person, if you can uh, uh, assure that you know security by having some security certification, it will add a lot of value. So for that reason, I truly believe that uh, this uh, certification named as Compute Security Plus is a very good uh, starting point for any IT professional. So uh, uh, this will open many doors for you. So let's uh, review this certification a little bit more. So this uh, is a CompTIA certification and the overview is here. The exam is more of a, a multiple choice species uh, exam. We have to face 90 questions and we're gonna uh, get uh, 90 minutes to answer the 90 questions. And the passing score is 750 out of uh, 900. So uh, the good part is like CompTIA also provides their official uh, uh, guideline, official book, which uh, which if you uh, uh, read very thoroughly, it can easily pass the certification. So that's really good. But if you see, you have to ask a 90 question in 90 minutes. So you really need to know ins and out of the particular uh, uh, official book. And uh, then it will help you to pass the certification very easily. And uh, here uh, we can see some other uh, uh, properties of the exam, like the testing provider. So there are two ways we can sit for the exam. One is uh, online testing, another is assessing center. So if you ask me, my preference, uh, my I always prefer the uh, online testing one because then you will be comfortable uh, in your own environment and you will feel more confident that uh, uh, yes uh, everything is all good just make sure that your internet connection that you will be using during the exam is pretty stable um, the price of this uh, certification see all the pricing in here so CompTIA Security Plus so in uh, 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 USA the price is uh, $404 so it's like 400 uh, USD. But trust me, this uh, uh, certification uh, will add a lot of value to your CV. And as a fresher, as a fresh graduate, if you have some certification like Compte Security Plus under resume, you will get noticed and you will uh, get picked by the recruiter, that's for sure. The second certification that I'm going to talk about is uh, a cloud certification. So we know, we all know that cloud computing is a big thing right now. More and more companies are moving the data from on-prem to the cloud. 
And if you have the expertise or knowledge as a, a fresh graduate or if you want to do a career transition and you already know about cloud computing, that is awesome. So this is uh, this certification could be a very good starting point for you. The certification name is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. So this is the first uh, basic certification of uh, AWS. And whenever we're talking about cloud computing, there are three major key players. One is AWS, second one is Microsoft Azure, and third is uh, Google Cloud. And uh, if you have the certification that you are built, that's uh, a very good addition. It pro proves that you have the basic understanding of cloud computing. You have the foundational level, level knowledge of cloud computing. So this is uh, a very good certification to have. So the category is the foundational. The exam duration is 90 minutes. Here you have to face 65 questions. Uh, most of the questions are multiple choice or, or multiple responses one. And the exam cost is uh, uh, very cheap compared to Compute Security Plus. It's just 100 USD. So the test is also the same. You can uh, take the test online uh, and it will be monitored by the online proctor or you can go to that exam center test vendor where you can sit for the exam. And uh, uh, this is a very good certification here. You will uh, not only learn about AWS, but also it will help you to learn about the basic, the foundation and knowledge of cloud computing. What is cloud computing? What sort of uh, deployment model we have? Um, how cloud computing is helping IT industry? And uh, uh, what are the pricing models? So these are very critical information and critical knowledge. Once you have the certification, then you'll feel more confident that yes, I have achieved something which is valuable and uh, you will feel more confident to face your job interviews and uh, is, this will help you to land a very good job in IT industry. The third uh, IT certification I will highly suggest is uh, this exam that is AZ900. AZ900 is a Microsoft Azure exam, which stands for Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. So in AWS, if we want to start our career, we should go for the, uh, the, the uh, Cloud Practitioner one. And for Microsoft Azure, it should be AZ900, it's the first uh, starting level certification. So in uh, this particular exam, we would uh, learn about uh, different sort of compute, network, storage, or database related information related to the cloud. This is an excellent uh, certification. I have this certification when I started to learn about uh, uh, Azure. The good part about certification is that, suppose if you want to learn a technology, for example, Microsoft Azure. So you can go through some uh, documentation here and there, but uh, uh, it's not uh, precise. But when you are preparing for a particular certification, then you you are following a guideline, a proper uh, sort of uh, plan that you need to execute. You have to go through multiple resources. You have to know ins and out of particular services. It is a very good way to learn a particular technology. So whenever I want to learn something new, I always try to see if they provide us a certification. Because from there, I will see the guideline. I can then uh, pre uh, re prepare uh, for the certification. I can go through multiple resources that are available online. So this will give you a very well-rounded knowledge about that particular technology. So for that reason, uh, is that 900 should be a... Uh, uh, must to have uh, if you are a starter or if you want to start your career in a cloud computing era. The exam fee is very uh, reasonable. The exam fee is uh, 99 USD, almost like $100, same like AWS Cloud Practitioner one. And the passing score is 700 and likewise uh, uh, the AWS Cloud Practitioner, here we have two options. We can uh, sit for the exam uh, online or you can go for the test center where we can just uh, uh, sit for the exam. And uh, the cool part here is that for both AWS and Azure, for both of certification, both uh, platform provides a lot of free resources uh, that you can just uh, go through these resources and uh, uh, prepare yourself. And also, whenever you are preparing for a particular certification, my suggestion would be, please don't go for just only one particular material. At least you have to follow two or three resources. So uh, the reason behind is that if you follow one, maybe there is some uh, knowledge gap or something is uh, not written very well. But if you follow two or three different materials, when there is overlapping, it will help you to become more proficient in that particular technology. and also. If if there is any knowledge gap, it will be uh, covered easily. So that's my suggestion for you. So are you ready for the fourth certification? Well, the fourth certification is also a cloud certification that is uh, a Google Cloud. 
cloud digital leader certification this is an exam certification uh, i also have this particular certification uh, and uh, here uh, overview of the certification the exam length is same like 90 minutes the exam fee is almost like the same 99 dollars and we have two languages uh, uh, that we can sit for the exam either english or japanese and the exam format is the multiple choice 50 to 60 multiple choice questions and uh, here we can take the exam online or we can go to the test center it's up to our choice and uh, here uh, you, if you for, see they have also provided some uh, a learning path and additional resources a lot of free resources are here online even if you uh, want to check your knowledge you can uh, uh, do it by uh, solving some sample question so it's pretty straightforward the only thing is that uh, you just need to spend time you need to spend time you need to uh, practice and uh, the resources are the free resources are everywhere either you can go to youtube you can go for some uh, free resources from the official website or you can purchase some online uh, courses uh, which are very cheap but the thing is that you must have to have the determination to go for the certification and uh, the thing is that IT is a hot topic in today's world. Everybody uh, is trying to enter to this IT field because uh, that's the future. And uh, when there is a lo uh, this much of attention, then uh, it's very hard to uh, crack a job interview or get a job in IT because it's a lot of competition. So this IT certification will make sure that uh, uh, you will get notice. And once you get your job, uh, then uh, you can go for some some more adverse certification but this certification the starting level certification will pave the way for you and from there you can build it's just i feel like it's more of a game like in every game there is multiple levels first you have to start uh, easy level and the medium level then the uh, professional level the same thing with any sort of job field first uh, you have to start with easy level and if you want to start your job then uh, you have you, if you have the certifications the entry level certification it will help you to get there so that's uh, my point of view about uh, um, IT job industry the fifth and last uh, IT certification that I would highly suggest uh, you as an entry-level uh, IT professional is uh, CCNA CCNA is a very well reputed certification and it uh, focuses mainly on networking side so the thing is like uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are securing an infrastructure if you're working as a, a security uh, engineer then most of the time you have to deal with uh, networking or if even if you are managing the you are working as a sysop administrator or any field in it networking is a uh, place a very big role and if you clear this particular certification ccna which will prove that you do have an excellent understanding um, about uh, networking so this is uh, a very good certification to have as a entry level uh, IT professional. So the exam duration is uh, 120 minutes and the vendor uh, is uh, Cisco, which is very reported uh, vendor. And the price is 300 USD. Um, and uh, here uh, there is some exam overview, like what specific thing it will cover. It will cover the network fundamentals, IP connectivity, security fundamentals, and uh, automation and programmability. So most of it is uh, focusing on uh, uh, networking, like uh, how will you manage the networking side of your IT infrastructure. So this is an ex excellent example and there are some study resources, you can see some videos, the materials and uh, the thing is that uh, as an IT professional, if you have the CCNA certification, you'll feel more confident because now you know the ins and out of networking, how to uh, configure uh, different uh, infrastructure, like how to manage the networking part, how to create subnets, how to uh, manage the uh, internet gateway and everything. So uh, you will be a better IT professional official if you have the certification under your uh, portfolio there you have it so now you know exactly which five certification gonna help you to uh, land your uh, job in it and uh, uh, why i also try to explain like why you should uh, have to have this certification under your resume if you guys have any questions related to the certification please let me know in this comment section and i will reply in a very short period of time uh, 
I also want to mention one more thing that is uh, certification. Sometimes there is a debate uh, like whether in ID certification uh, really helps to land a job or if it's really required. My way of thinking is that uh, if I see two uh, resume and one, uh, both of them have same uh, sort of experience, but uh, one person has a uh, uh, few certification related to that particular job role, then I will, uh, as a the hiring person, I will definitely go for that particular person because the person has put uh, a lot of effort, energy uh, to get the certification so that the person is punctual and here is there is a proof to that this person knows this and he or she set for the exam and then he got or she got the certification. So that's uh, the way I will be thinking. So definitely certification really helps in IT industry. And uh, for me, uh, like after eight years, if I can recall, like the certification really helped me to stand out whenever I got an uh, opportunity i just uh, set for the certification and uh, it is really a wonderful thing to have then you'll feel more confident to whatever job you're doing in as an it professional because uh, you have uh, really worked hard for it and you passed it and i know ins and out of the particular technology uh, well uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me uh, our community is growing really fast uh, more and more it professionals are joining to our community which is great the main uh, uh, motivation behind this channel is to create a community where all we we gonna help each other to become a better it professional um, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Well, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.